six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here. We had a unique situation here come up with one of our vendors. Uh, Blount International, who's the parent company of both Woods and Spico, has run into a situation where they have a bit of an overstock on log splitters. And so they've given us an opportunity here in order to be able to sell these things to you at some really aggressive prices delivered to your home. So spend some time here with me. We'll walk around and look at some of the features on these splitters and show you some of the ways that they go above and beyond a lot of the economy log splitters that you might find from some other box stores. So as far as pricing goes on these pieces, the Spico model log splitter here is a 22 ton model that we can sell shipped to your door anywhere in the country for $9.99. The Woods model over here is a little bit more deluxe offering that's a 27 ton available shipped to your door anywhere in the country for $11.50. So some thought has gone into the design of these splitters to make them easy to use. If you look at the I-beam here itself, a built-in log cradle is offered here across the bottom to center the log on the splitter. So it's gonna hold the log here when you let go of it so it doesn't flop off the side of the beam. Um, on the bottom of the beam here is a large cast piece. It gives a little bit of extra weight for the bottom, makes it good and durable. And both of these can also be offered in either horizontal or vertical configuration. So we have a pin that we could pull out here from the side to release the splitter and simply lift this thing up to allow you to roll those really large logs into place over here in order to split them. The cylinder here on the Spico splitter is a four inch cylinder that's 24 inches long. So it gives you 24 inches of stroke through the beam here in order to split a large log. That cylinder is powered by an 11 gallon per minute two stage pump. So what that means is that you've got 11 gallons of hydraulic flow in order to cycle this cylinder more quickly than some other, other log splitters would. That gives this about a 13 second cycle time between forward and back. That pump is a two stage pump. So when it's not under heavy load, it's able to pump a lot of fluid quickly to help the cylinder move through the, the dead space here as quickly as it can. But then when it's placed under load, a second stage is able to kick in in order to give you a lot of pressure to give you that 22 tons of force to split through the log. Now the Woods branded splitter has a spec pump in two different areas here that make it a little bit more capable than the Spico branded model. The Woods cylinder here is the same 24 inch stroke, but is four and a half inches around, giving it a little bit more diameter on the inside for a stronger push. In order to have that cycle time not slow down, this has a little bit higher uh, gallon per minute hydraulic pump on it. So rather than being 11 GPM, this one's 13 to create that additional flow to keep the cycle time going quickly. Both of these models feature self-canceling valves. So if you've ever operated a log splitter before, typically once the log is split, you wanna return the cylinder back to its retracted position. And in order to do that on this model, you simply pull the handle back and it will stay here until the cylinder comes back the whole way dead ends. And then this valve will pop the lever back to its neutral position again. So you can go forward to push this guy forward to split. You do need to keep your hand on here in order to do it for safety. So you press that guy forward, split your log, and then pull it into the retract position let it come back and self-center on its own. Another difference between these two models is the splitting wedge itself. So the Woods model here with a little bit more capacity has a larger eight inch wedge versus a seven inch wedge on the Spico model. You'll notice too down here on the end that both of these wedges have holes drilled along the side of it. There are a limited supply of attachments and stuff for say four way crosses and that kind of stuff that can go down here on the splitting end. You notice here in the front of both of the log splitters, there's a two inch trailer ball mount. Uh, this will slide right over top of your ball in order to tow these things down the highway from place to place if you need to. And both of these units can be towed up to 40 miles an hour. So the final difference between these two log splitters is really in the origin of a lot of their parts. These are both assembled in the USA. Uh, but there are more domestically sourced parts in the Woods branded model. So this steel beam is an American casted and made steel beam versus a Chinese beam that you're gonna find over in the Spico model. Um, you can say that about the engines as well, a Kohler sourced engine versus a Chinese sourced Spico branded engine. So uh, there are more American sourced components in the Woods model. The one thing we do always like about that is part support as things go years down the road is typically a little bit better on things that are sourced here domestically. Having spent a lot of time running log splitters in the past, I can tell you from a first hand here, uh, these are two real quality built pieces. 
Um, we have a special opportunity here that we have in order to buy these things. You can see that there's a lot of features and thought that have gone into their construction that we just don't find in some of the really economy-oriented box store models. So if you have any needs for a log splitter like this, uh, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or visit our website at messix.com to buy online. While well, we do offer these pieces set up for our local customers, anybody who's going to be ordering one of these and having them shipped to your home is going to need to go through the setup process yourself. And in order to make that as easy as possible, we shot two separate videos, one on each of these models, on exactly what it takes to remove all the pieces from the crate and put the log splitter together. So if you're interested in ordering one of these things and shipped to your home, you could check out our other YouTube videos to see exactly what needs done when one of these arrives on your doorstep.